<laughs> what it do, y'all? Let's get into it. We finna waste no time. We finna watch Kim and Kay. Oh, let me turn this TV down. You know what I'm saying? Got the Kevin Gates rolling, man. You already know. This album out this year, for sure. I ain't gonna cap. Anyways, let's not waste no time. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. <laughs> All right, POV, Dodge Demon, Bullion, Mexico, Vehicles, Warning, this gets intense. We gonna see, because Kim and K don't drive that crazy, but let's see, let's see how he gonna do today. Anyways, if you're new, hit that like button right now, man. Make sure y'all send me some more videos from your favorite car drivers or car enthusiasts, you know what I'm saying? Send me some videos in the comment section, put their names down there so I can check them out, I can subscribe to their channel and show them some love. You did. 2024. All love. All gas. No brakes. You did. All right, let go. Nah, for real. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kevin McKay, man. Why the? Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, successful day. I get a video coming for y'all on the main channel, y'all. Stay tuned for that. Y'all look P.O.V. in that 170 John Doe, bro. I'm in third gear right now. Snitch. Sheesh. It like scared me right there. I ain't gonna care. All I seen was 50, then I seen 80. <laughs> Sheesh. Hey, man, let me take that, let me take that off for y'all, bro. Y'all need to be seeing all that. Yeah, you seeing all that can, fam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't lie. I had to turn that off my damn self. I can't lie. I, I got tired of seeing them. So I'm like, oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> Every time I look down, I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Man, I'm going to slow down a little bit so I don't let the car get out the way. Shout out to where you went. Chick-fil-A on them, boy. Okay, okay. Going in the curve, so I shouldn't be going crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm going to let y'all just hit that thing, whistle. Go ahead, drift that whole corner. Around the curb, but let me calm down. Go ahead, drift that whole street. Aggressive right now in these um higher gears. And go ahead and drift that whole street. Now nah, if it was late at night, you probably could. If it was late at night with no cars out there. That whole street, straight around the corner. I ain't gonna care, bro. That was a nice little turn. Mopar. Yeah, I did y'all thing with demons, bro. Now you see why they like Mopar or no car. Now you see why. The engines is too tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. This Hellcats in general, not even the Hellcats. This Hellcats also like y'all did y'all things with Hellcats, Mopar. I say Mopar, Dodge. Y'all did y'all things with Hellcats, bro. Can I go? I'm in the four way. Can I go? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> cool game. I'm telling you, man. Torquing at 170 is different though. It's just so like instant instantaneous, bro. It's just so instantaneous. Like it just instant. And my other demon, I gotta like next light, turn left. Okay. <laughs> so that's the federal. But anyway, right. we're in Mexico, y'all. Yeah, that's why I got my GPS on. I'm like, how do I get around Mexico? Torque you can't be talking too much. They want to hit torques. I was saying, y'all, in my other demon, I get a Tokyo. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, turn like her off. Turn her off. In my other, in my turn other demon, I get a, you know, Tokyo, right? Make sure to get that instant torque. But it's still instant now. Don't, don't get it messed up, bro. It's still like that. But ain't no car like this, I don't think. Like, I ain't rolling no Hellcat that gives you the... I'm trying to see this man hit the limit, man. He ain't driving this damn thing like he's supposed to, man. I'm trying to see him hit the limit. I'm trying to see the thing go like this. And I'm trying to hear how loud it's going to scream. Come on, bro. They're not going to chase you over 160. I tell people that all the time. They cars don't go faster than 160. Police cars, bro, they don't have 200 on their dash. It's stupid. So once you get past that, they're not going to chase you. They got to call it in. They got to call the people at the next exit. And they got to call the helicopters. They have to. <laughs> like, they can't go faster than 160. Some of them might hit 180, but still, you got 200, 220 on the dad. They're not chasing you. They're not catching you. They're just going to be like, bro, he gone. 
<laughs> like we seen him, he passed by, he went so fast. I, <laughs> there's nothing they can do. Instantaneous power. The camera gonna catch though. The camera gonna catch. I'm gonna tell you that right now. The people might not catch y'all, but the cameras will. The cameras will. That's that's yeah. You can't get past them cameras, y'all. To where it's just like you know what's going on, basically. The cameras will catch you. Satellite cameras and all, they will catch you. Can't get past those. Unless you're in the trees. So I'll stop at this gas station. Be you guys in outside footage. In four miles, turn right. Yeah, TPS is going crazy right now. All the mess cut up, but you know how it is. Look at that truck. Look at that plane up there. Can I see that? Yeah. Is it me or when I see a plane, bro? I'll be like, what them niggas thinking right now? They jump like it going up. That's how I be. I'm like, where they going? Nah, it's coming down. <laughs> he landed. Man, I remember one time I seen a plane. And then I seen something else. <laughs> right? And it was far up there. It was way up there. I'm talking about way up there. And you know how you normally see the planes? Then you see some planes, they got the little stuff that come from behind it and stuff. You know, stuff like that. I'm talking about this one was so far up there. It almost like it was camouflaged. It was so far up there. I had to keep my eye on it for a little minute. It was only, it was outside. It was early in the morning when I seen it too. Cause there's a bunch of different lights in there. And the crazy part about it was, it was so far. I'm talking about so far. I had to put my glasses on to see it. And if I didn't have my glasses on, I would never known it was there. So for people that don't have 2020 or can't see things very far, right? They, they, don't, they won't see that. They won't even know something above them. It had no noise or nothing. Cause it was so far away, you couldn't hear nothing. I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, where are they going? You know? Yeah, it's like a real plane, bro. He just put that down. It didn't even have a blue and red light on it. That's how crazy. Cause all planes had them blue and red lights. They got to, right? That one did. I'm like, what is that? And where is they going? It was so far away. <laughs> I don't know, bro. When it, 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 what it feel like? It feel like a, a twin turbo car. That's what the demon one said. It feel like. It feel like supercharged and twin turbo at the same time. Twin turbo. I know it sound crazy. I know y'all like shit up camera not possible. Well, you get in one then, man. And I, <laughs> I, don't, I ain't even know. Let me show y'all. I ain't camping. I'm not even on full. Like I'm on 900, bro. It's a 125 more horsepower with this junk get when I go to the race station, I mean to the gas station, to get that E85, that racing fuel. And a lot of y'all told me in my video too, get, get that um, E85 from my line to where it's strong. E85 is going to make the car run stronger, bro. So I'm going to see what that junk talking about. But yeah, Cam fam, like, it's like a twin turbo and supercharged car at the same time. I know y'all think I'm just talking, but I'm really not. It's what it feel like. I it's, believe. Like, it's supercharged so it go instantly but once it get to like 70 or 80 it's like another another gear kick in or something like it get faster it's weird like we am, I tripping, am i am i just talking right now i mean for this like i'm saying there she go and it got those short gears too i wonder what the outside sound like because i know it's loud just off the fed, just off the fed that I got my mother's a lead and I let, I let somebody drive around the corner and they were snotting that junk. I was like, bro, <laughs> that junk's so loud around the street. It's so loud. Look at who it was. Like it was like my cousin or uncle or something. But I just heard that junk around the corner, bro, when I first got it. That junk was sounding scrumptious. I ain't got all these stuff shit my ear, though. But, yeah, I know they come with like, I gotta have two hands right now. One, right now I only got one hand on the, GoPro. You got some GoPros, bro. But yeah, like I was saying, bro, um, this just sounds so crazy from the outside. I'm going to get y'all somebody to record it from the outside one day while I'm doing pulls in it. I know y'all heard it, I think, at the, be at the beginning, but I don't think y'all heard it really since it, the, um, I mean, most of the league done settled in, like, it sounds like it's a crazy. I know it sounds like I'm just praising this car, bro. I know it sounds like that, bro. I'm just. Heck yeah. Damn near, you don't make the car idle. <laughs> Damn near. The car really slow though, I'm gonna be honest. I'm telling y'all, we gonna we gonna look back at this 
five years from now, we're going to be like, damn, bro, we thought these that had a thousand was fast. You heard me? I said five years. Like, we're going to look at it in a year from now, two years from now, and be like, man, we thought these cars was fast. It ain't even going to take that long. You see what I'm saying? They already approved of putting thrusters on cars, bro. Right? You know what a thruster, you know what a rocket thruster is and what that'll do to a car? <laughs> you know what that'll do to a car? They already approved of it. So it's like these cars now are just, you know what I'm saying? And the reason for the thrusters, because a lot of y'all don't understand this either. The only way we can get these flying cars, we're going to need the thrusters to get the cars off the ground. So everything is being done, obviously, in a slow motion type of pace, but it's being done. Right? You're going to have to get the cars off the ground. You're going to need magnetic stuff, too. All this stuff has already been approved. You go check out these car companies and find out the patents that they have. You see that this stuff has already been approved. It just takes time for them to give it to the people, right? Nobody has money to buy flying cars right now, right? So it takes time for them to develop this stuff. Not only develop it, but develop it in a cheap way to where they can give it to the consumer who, who is us. So like I said, these cars, we think is fast. They're really not fast at all. Right. When when you got ships, spaceships that can go to speed of light. Right. So that means this stuff is nothing. <laughs> right. But to each his own, to each his own. Most of the human beings on the earth, on the ground, won't know about most of the stuff. Because there's no reason for them to know about it. There's no reason. But for the people that join like uh, uh, they got space programs and things like that space wars and things like that once they start joining those type of programs they open up their brain and their mind they gonna get access to the information to the technologies laser guns flying cars and everything else jetpacks which they already have see what i'm saying all this stuff is already here they already have it it's just the main consumer can't purchase it there's no reason for you to purchase it you see what i'm saying so it, it only makes sense right but it has to be on development why it's the same as a nuke bomb. It has to be under development. Why? Because you don't want another country to develop it before your country, right? So that means everybody has to develop it. That's just the way it works. So that way, there's nothing, no civil wars, no world wars pop out. There's no uh, galactic wars. They don't pop out, right? We're not. We're trying to avoid that, right? So the thing is, give the power to everybody. So everybody got their own nukes. Everybody got laser guns. Everybody got big ass giant robots that can destroy cities yes obviously right but the thing is they're not just gonna push it out there because there's no reason to nobody's attacking us yet i just want to try to keep all that in mind like i said the normal humans won't be access to this information i get it because there's no reason for you to think about none of this stuff so i understand but like i said this is not a fast car <laughs> right it's not a fast car it is it's eating up the ground man it's doing something bro but I'm sure within a year, there will be something better, right? I'm sure within three months to six months by summertime, there will be something better. Always will be something better. That's just how it works. The, the, the Dodge itself is literally making something better right now if they don't already have something better. See what I'm saying? Because they want your money, <laughs> right? That's all marketing, right? That's like, well, how... how where we going? What iPhone y'all on? I got the 12. What y'all got? You see what I'm saying? I remember, I remember back when people said, man, I don't want to use no face detection. Now all y'all got face detection. I mean, people was like, man, I don't want to use that fingerprint thing. And then y'all end up getting the phone with the fingerprints, right? They don't care what you want. They're going to give it to you and you're going to eventually subside. Because you're human. That's what humans do. You see what I'm saying? There's nothing else to offer. There's nothing else out there. So what else are you going to buy? You're going to have to buy what they offer you and what they gave you because you're not creating your own stuff. See, now when you go out and create your own phone companies and car companies, now you get what you want. And that's why a lot of these billionaires, they create their own stuff because they don't want to. They don't want an Android. Apple want an Apple. The people on Apple want an Apple. They ain't want Android, right? Same with the car companies. Most of them car people like Tesla, for example, he didn't want a Honda, right? He wanted something different. Again, if you don't create in this world, if you don't create your own products, then you become a consumer. 
So you're no longer a producer. You're not a creator. You're not creating your reality. You're a consumer. So you take your money and then you buy things that other people create, right? So the thing about buying things that other people create is you're never going to get all the features that you want because you didn't create. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. They're always going to hold back. Always. Like I said, they, they could have bended all this to the car. They didn't want to. They like, nope. And we're going to tell them this year, we ain't making no more. You see how they do stuff like that? And then they come out and make some more. Right? That's all marketing and promotion. They don't care if you hate them or love them. They know you're still going to buy their products. Simple. <laughs> simple. Because people are simple. <laughs> Simple-minded people. They follow each other, right? So they like, oh, well, the sales are up this year, so we're good. We don't care. They're mad. We don't care. The more news, good or bad news, is always great for the company. They know that. They're not going nowhere. And y'all forever going to be purchasing their products. Let's get back to the video, though. Yeah, we have time, bro. Jeez. <laughs> you ain't got no SRT in 2024. You, pl you playing, man. You playing, man. Get your SRT in 2024. If you're not, you're really playing. No okay. cap. Let me get over there. Stay in the middle lane. At the next light, turn right. I was gonna say, I can't lie, uh, Camera Cat. I seen this S680. It take rockets and C4. I mean, I like the Demon, but the S680 take rockets and C4. I, I mean, you got a V12. I mean, I, like I said, I, I, I like the Demon. But the S680 guard takes rockets and C4. It's like, yo, I gotta protect my life, my G. I'm not worried about no car. <laughs> like that's that's beside the point. Like that's beside the point, bro. That's what I'm saying. Y'all don't even know, bro. Y'all really don't know. They got y'all stuck on. <laughs> okay. Why you got drive for Atlanta drivers and all other drivers too? Man, I would have went around there. Yeah. I would have went around there. You got a fast car, bro, and it sound loud. And when you hit the gas, people hit on brakes in front of you. If you hear me coming, why would you hit on the brakes if you hear that thing coming? Like, it just don't make sense to me, bro. Well, you got to remember, it startles, it startles people. And then you never know what they're doing in their car. Sometimes they be on their phone. Sometimes they be paying too much attention in the rearview mirrors. So they see you coming, they hear you coming, they see you. So they, they hitting the brakes like they scared. I've seen people almost like go off the road from looking in the rearview mirror, trying to figure out who behind them. I'm like, bro, why are y'all going off? I have to beep them. Yo, beep, beep. Yo, yo, watch out before your truck flips over. You know what I mean? Before your car goes off the road. I've seen people literally hit the curve and bounce back because they're looking in the rearview mirror trying to figure out who behind them. I get it. I understand. <laughs> I'm a black man. I get it. You feel me? But the thing is, people need to pay attention to where they're going. This happens so much. I wish my friends could tell you, bro. This happens so much. This happens almost every single day. People are always paying attention to what other people are doing. This happens every single day, especially on the road. But it causes accidents, right? Like You don't have to pay attention to the person behind you. Unless, 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 obviously, they coming up on you stupid crazy, right? And you think they finna run into you. That's one thing. But I'm talking about you can be driving just civilized. You can just be going regular. And then, you know what I'm saying? You got them, like he was saying, it ain't necessarily Atlanta drivers, but you got them drivers that, for whatever reason, 
<laughs> for whatever reason, they don't know how to keep their eyes forward. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous to me, bro. I see it all the time. Like, it give me y'all trying to get hit. Like, otherwise, why, why would you do that if you hit this thing coming? If you hit this right here behind you, why would you play with it? At the light, use the right. Yeah, like I was saying, can I find this this job? If you, if you hit this coming behind you, why would you even slow down to play with it, bro? Like, I would be getting out the way so quick. And so expeditiously. It, would, it wouldn't make no sense. Right. I oh, said, get out the way. Anytime I hear him come through, I'll be like, let me go ahead and get out the way. Especially if you're not going, you ain't racing with him, you ain't, you know what I mean? Go ahead and get out the way. You know, the other ones I hate, I hate when people, uh, they slow down and they got their turn on signal on and then they don't turn. <laughs> I'm like, bruh, nobody's following you, bruh. They get to be like, bruh, nobody even following you, bruh. I'm talking about it, just be funny. This one dude, he turned, he didn't turn, and then he ended up turning the next turn. And I told my friend, I said, bruh, I bet you that man thought we was following him. <laughs> I said, he said, how you know? I said, because he's living in my neighborhood. <laughs> I'm like, he don't, he don't live over there. He live over here. <laughs> So we had the house. I said, there you go right there, look at the car. And then you go pass by. <laughs> so he tried to take a detour just to turn and go back the same way because he thought somebody was following him. Man, ain't nobody following you, stupid. That's, I'm like, bro, energy is real. You can always tell. Like, why people, just, why they all, why, they all on the other side of the road, yeah. Most likely they, they either in their phone or they, or they looking in that rear view mirror. I'm telling y'all that right now. It, it gotta be. Cause I used to do it, right? So we know. If you if you used to do the same thing, you, you know. You know exactly what's going on. It ain't like you getting some, ain't, ain't nobody getting no top. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't, if it ain't that, man, you should be swerving and going in like, and hitting curves and things like that, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. It's 2024, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but it's just funny experiences on the road, man. <laughs> Thank y'all, Cam, bro. Thank y'all. Without y'all, boy, I would not be right here in this 170 right now, just having the time of my life. It's 7 o'clock at night, just cruising around, saying, let me get these folks a POV, bro. I gave them one day be loving the 170 POV. I'm going to give y'all some more demon POV, too, on my, on my 2018 demon. I know y'all be saying I need to do more POVs and all that, let y'all hear the call, what I'm trying to do right now, but I'm in a neighborhood in Mexico, but I'm waking these folks up. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, okay, I'm stuck in y'all more POVs, bro. It's like... Hey, you waking them up all right. You waking them up all right. Mm-hmm. I know, I know. Another job you want, bro. It's cool. I'm going to give it to y'all, bro. What's y'all favorite car though? What's y'all favorite car and y'all favorite dream car that y'all want? That y'all can get? Every car right now? Like, what would it be? Would it be a demon? Would it be a Hellcat? Hell no. Would nah. it be <laughs> just a scare pick? No, man. He said favorite car, bro. It won't be no, it'd be like a Bugatti or something, Pugani. It ain't gonna be no, no demon. Are you stupid? They slow, I keep telling you that. It'd be something with a W16, a V16, bro. I'm not going with a W12. I'm not going with no V12. It won't, it won't be nothing that's no V8. That ain't no exotic hypercar, bro. You tripping. It's levels to this shit, bro. That shit ain't even a million dollars, bro. That shit is trash. <laughs> that's a $200,000 car, bro. There's cars out here, four, five, ten million dollars. That shit is nowhere close to them cars, bro. It's not gonna be no Conan's egg, boy. You lost your damn mind. <laughs> it ain't gonna be no Bugatti. He all lost his mind, bro. It's, it's in a whole nother league, bro. So you talking about a dream car? It'd be something that's a couple million dollars, bro. It'd be a Maybach six. You know what I mean? It'd be something that ain't nobody got. It ain't gonna be no normal ass car that everybody can get. That's a dream car. <laughs> Y'all get the same car, everybody else got to be like, this is my dream car. Why you just ask your homie to drive his car? 
It's <laughs> like, the fuck? It don't even make sense. Everybody got the same car. No. It had to be over a couple million, bro. I'd rather get a Lamborghini yacht. A Ferrari yacht. Y'all don't even know about that. Because y'all still on this... <laughs> i tell you what, man. I'd rather get a color man or something, man. For sure. What the fuck? Toy. These cars are meant to just burn out and, and thrash. That's what they meant for. Guys, that's good job. That's toys. Right, but it's real quick. That doesn't sound good. I hope y'all enjoyed that little ASMR. Nah, it didn't sound right, good, though. So this is the um, baby 170 at night. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Oh, you know what type of time. Okay, so it do show out of it. I was wondering if it uh, still showed. Okay, it still I showed. Ain't gonna lie, bro. That black that do look good. That yeah, do look good. What y'all think, bro? I think I got the whole thing one seventy in the world. You ask me. Yeah. Who else got it? <laughs> Who else got it? I know. Um, don't um, D demon demonology got one. Don't he got one too? Who else got one? He, he ain't got no seats in his. Who else got one? It was that other guy? Was it Racer X? I can't remember the dude's name, bro. It was somebody else that had one. It wasn't Racer X. It was somebody else that had one. But it's only a handful of people that actually got them. Bruce, Bruce just got his. So you and Bruce need to go for a little uh, race. Uh, Bruce just got his. I need to find a, um, a private... I know a couple of private airports, but I'm talking, I, need a, I need a private airport that's vacant. I know a couple of private airports, but I need one that's vacant. So we can start doing races. The one that they allow us to do races at. I'm about to find one in Atlanta. So I can set up events for y'all. Because I don't want y'all to keep... You know what I'm saying? We might as well set it up. If we can set it up properly, it can be done. I, I get some uh, some security and everything. I got a couple friends that do security. I get security out there and everything. So we ain't got to worry about none of that. But yeah, we need to find a private where it's real. It got to be real long, though. It can't be short. It got to be real long. And we're going to have to prep it a little bit. I ain't even, I ain't even playing around. Because I don't want nobody dying out there type. You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure. I'll sweep that whole thing. I ain't even tripping. I ain't even tripping. Like, I just want to make sure everybody, you know what I'm saying, can be able to do what they want to do. Instead of being on the road, too. I think I got the hardest one in the world. You need a, a private air, air, air place. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, I came so far. Who would have ever thought I would? Let me tell y'all a quick story, bro. Back in 2020, 2020, 2021, when I got that white charger, I could I wanted the red out here that so bad, bro. And I just couldn't afford that junk. I ain't gonna cap y'all down. I wanted a red out charger so bad, bro. The wide it was wild body too. You know I couldn't afford no wild body. I, I couldn't afford no wild body red out charger in 2021, bro. Now look at me, two demons. Two of them. That's the same. And I just, you know what I'm saying, just have a demon. What was y'all? I'm about to say, uh, sell that Corvette and get another demon. I have three of them. Get rid of that damn Corvette. <laughs> I'm so against that Corvette. Oh, sell the Corvette and get a ZL1 Corvette. Then it'd be good. Like, you ain't gonna put that demon once. I don't know. I might have to say this one. At first, it was still for grabs. But the one said me just a month ago, bro. It's just a month, so I ain't gonna cap. I don't think it's nothing I can do to my black demon to make it feel like this. Like, exactly like this. It might be fast and keep up with it. But I think this car right here is just so responsive. Y'all gotta understand, Dodge made this car out the factory with a thousand horsepower. So they already know what, what the car needs to make it go. You know what I'm saying? They, they the one built the car. So it's going to be hard for a regular dude out the street to tune it better than a Dodge who made the Hellcat. You know? Because uh, they know the inside the house. But I hope y'all enjoyed this POV, bro. Got you, got you. If y'all want. Hey, this is a good video. See y'all in the next one, man. Hopefully we get some uh, burnouts and some, uh, like you said, some pools and some pass-bys uh, in the next video, man. All right, y'all. I'm out. Like I said, man, make sure y'all open up y'all brains, man. Open up y'all brains, man. Do y'all research, bro. Please do y'all research. All right, y'all. Peace. We out.